Hi, Jenna. Hi, Julie. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. Oh, I really of appreciate it. Um, so let's start off. What does fashionality really mean? Fashionality really means to me, basically, it's kind of like your fashion IQ. You know, it's a mix of style, individuality, function. It's really about how you express yourself through what you wear. Basically, you know, all the way from the way you wear your hair to the kind of clothes you choose to put on to the accessories that you integrate with that to the watches that you integrate with the accessories, you know, it all kind of comes to life through your fashionality. Um, do you have anything to say about fashionality with regards to certain looks such as a hipster or boho chic or, you know, those types of styles? Definitely on a hipster. I actually have a few models with me. Nicole is uh, wearing one of my favorite hipster looks. We styled her today. She um, is in a really, you know, fun suspenders, little denim shorts with tights, little cut off top. And um, two of the um, Casio Baby G Vivid Metallic Series watches are actually orange and green, which to me kind of read hipster, or actually really read hipster. First, we have the orange one, which is really fun, also fun for Halloween, has a little bit of a black accent. We put some you know, gold accessories with the watch, which you can do because you know statement pieces are really big for fall, or of course, wear the watch alone. Um, and then on the other, on her other wrist, I did the green, which is kind of like an 80s throwback revival, which is also big for fall. And it has really fun turquoise accents. So, you know, I'd say that those two are really great accessories on the level of hipster for uh, fall fashion. Then I have actually another model. I have, uh, have Stacy, who is in, you know, another kind of vibe, another kind of look, a little bit more feminine, I'd say, with a little bit of an edge, which is also really fun for fall. She's in a little black and white printed dress with a great crop leather bomber jacket. And I did a really fun um, hot pink watch, which has a little bit of a purple accent. And it kind of just softens up this whole like harder look and kind of gives a nice balance to the black and white. And um, we also threw on some pearl bracelets with it, which also, you know, kind of soften up the whole vibe. So you can really take that watch, you know, day to night and really like, you know, the pearls kind of go more into night, wear the watch alone in the day. Um, and then on the other hand, we did black, which also, which actually has pink accent, but primarily black. And um, that kind of just keeps the whole look really consistent, edgy, but girly, you know, kind of a nice mix, but kind of more straightforward, edgy. And then our last model, we have Jillian, who I'd say is the most straightforward of, of the three models, actually. She's wearing the silver watch, which has purple accent, which I actually really love. It's like a little bit more of a balance and works with more outfits maybe, you know, you can kind of throw that on every day, which all these watches you could put on one day of the week because they're $79, so they're really great to have all of them, I'd say. But the silver is a really great one because it's just, you know, simple. She has a little blazer on, a scarf, skinny denim jeans, high little high boots, a little t-shirt, you know, very um, accessible to a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people go out on a look like this um, on a daily basis. So, um, yeah, these are my three models. We kind of just put some looks together with the watches and to show people how to wear them and how affordable they are and they're also water and shock resistant. Oh, that's great. So, yeah. Well, I wish I could be there to see it. it I know. Very, I wish you could be cute. too. They're very, very cute. It really like pops and brings these looks to life. These watches are really like, you know, they're playing, they're playing the role of the accessory in the stuff I styled and the looks that I styled. So it's really fun to see them bring the outfits to life with all the pop of color. Very cool. Well, thank you for yeah. sharing. Um, I yeah. have a few more questions oh, for sure. you. I know that you've styled everything from editorials, music videos, commercials. I was just wondering, do you have a favorite event or occasion to style? To be honest, I feel like I'm very diverse in the career that I've led so far. I love doing it all. I love how it's different every week, every day. I do love fashion shows and um, I'd say that might be the most creative of all, and then editorial. But then commercials and videos are really fun. The interaction's completely different. I worked on a movie uh, with Eva Longoria, and that was a completely different experience, just being on a movie for so long. So, um, you know, and then you're on an ad campaign. It just, it's all, all over the board. They're all really interesting and exciting and fun in their own ways. So I don't know that I have a favorite. Okay. You know, well, like an good. exact favorite. But I love fashion shows. I'd say I guess if I had to choose, though. Yeah, I definitely would, too. Yeah. Um, you've styled a ton of celebrities. Is there anyone in particular you have not yet worked with but would still love to dress? God, there's probably a lot of people. The list would go on for so long. 
Um, who would be a great, great top favorite? Um, God, I'd love to work with Julia Roberts. Okay. She would be, um, you know, she's a timeless beauty. Loved her in Pretty Woman, followed her career um, from that point. So she'd be a really fun one to work with. Okay, great. And then my last question for you, um, do you have any words of advice for a, uh, an inspire, aspiring stylist? Sorry. Um, words of advice for an aspiring stylist. Yeah, just really work hard, play, pay close attention to detail. Um, just really, um, yeah, just, just really pay close attention to detail and um, maybe do some test shots with some photographers, try to work with some models, try to get some things going to show your work and your creativity, send resumes out to different agencies, stuff like that. Great. Yeah. Well, that's all I have for you, but thank you so much for taking some time to chat with me. I really appreciate it. Oh, of course, and I wanted to just give you one last uh, note. Baby-G.com is the website to see these watches and get like some more information about um, the Vivid Metallic series. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks, Jenna. Okay, bye. All right, bye-bye.